home today recording Yoga for Pain part two and there's been some questions so I thought I would offer some answers. I get asked this a lot and some health funds do offer rebates for yoga. Often it's for a term of classes and often it's when you go to a gym to do them. We know that if you've got pain, uh, gym-based classes aren't always the best place for you or you might not progress as fast as if you had a more tailored approach to yoga. So call out your health fund, find out what they offer, and if they don't quite provide the rebate for the service that you need, let them know what you need and the difference that, that you think that could make to your long-term health. Next question. Yoga for pain is just gentle yoga, right? Um, there's gentle yoga in it, that's true. So we do some gentle postures, gentle asan, so that you can get moving in a way that's soft and supportive for your body. But we find that when people with pain go to gentle yoga, often it's too much. And that might not be just because you're not fit because you haven't used your body for a while. Sometimes it's, and often it's because your nervous system isn't used to what's going on. So there's a particular way of approaching yoga that I have found allows people with pain to really get the foundations of good movement in a way that is healthy for the nervous system and helps you progress over time. So you can keep doing gentle yoga if you want, but I would really love you to progress beyond gentle yoga. So gentle yoga is a part of yoga for pain, but it's not the whole story. Um, yeah, lots of people ask if I'm a physiotherapist, but they don't actually ever ask what qualifications I do have. So I thought I'd throw this one in. I actually have a civil engineering degree but that was a long time ago. I studied uh, about seven years ago a university diploma in yogic education from the University of Lille. And this was the work of a lecturer who um, was interested in the self-education that a yoga offers. So the, the, the course really equipped us to look at how do we bring yoga to different populations by understanding the really different needs that are going on for a group, you know, at a social level, at an emotional level. And so since then, my main focus has been in pain and about how we offer people with pain not just a physical education but an emotional, psychological and self-education. I'm personally interested in your yoga practice progressing and you applying the benefits of yoga to the area of your life that is meaningful. <laughs>